Hi guys, so uh, welcome back. Thought I'd do a little check in and uh, see how we're all doing and everything, and just a little talk through as to why the changes. So, obviously, if you've liked and subscribed my videos before, you've seen it as Dave's Outdoorsy stuff. Don't worry, I'm still Dave, I haven't changed my name. Uh, but I've been having a little bit of a think lately about what I really want to include as my content, what I want to include. Uh, on my other channels, my Instagram, my Facebook, and uh, things like that. I'm thinking really, what have I got the passion for? What's really going well, and what's not going well? Looking at things like viewing numbers from you guys here on YouTube, uh, looking at the, the likes and uh, the shares and things on Instagram and Facebook, and just sort of seeing what's working, what's not, and what I'm really enjoying, and whether that as an effect. So I uh, started thinking about the hobby, my hobby as a carver, uh, hobbies as nature enthusiast, um, as a forest school teacher, um, as various other things. And then just sort of came to the conclusion that really the nature side of things, the wildlife appreciation, there's a lot of that on YouTube and Instagram and Facebook. Um, but for the UK, certainly not a massive amount of carving. So when I looked at all my viewing numbers, obviously you guys, my, my viewers, my subscribers, really enjoying the carving videos the most, the tutorials. Um, so I thought, well, looking into that, what am I really enjoying at the moment? What am I specializing in? What really fires up my passion? And I thought back to when I very first started carving and the first thing I started carving was a wooden spoon. <laughs> now that, that wooden spoon well, you, you could have killed a deer with it. You really could have. It, it, it was it was more of a big chunk of wood with a slight bowl in it. It really was. But I was so proud, so chuffed um, that it made me want to do it again and again and again. And still, years later, I'm really enjoying carving spoons, uh, whether they are simple spoons like in one of, my, one of my previous videos, the kayak spoon, or whether they're more fancy looking spoons like dolphin spoons and... Um, Col roast spoons and and things like that really ladles and odds and ends i've been really getting into that a lot lately and then i had a thought about what else i like to carve because i'm very interested in things like character carving um or caricature carving sorry whether there's a difference in that um as well as comedy type carving and uh carving for decoration and actually, the only thing I really have enjoyed doing, and I find myself going to as a sort of a, a natural thing, was the wood spirits. So, and I really enjoy carving wood spirits. So when I think back again, that's the one thing I've really shown that interest in. That I really wanted to learn to carve. Um, and I found it a bit of a tricky thing, getting used to it, getting it to, to look like a real person, rather than just a couple of drawings on a piece of wood. Um, and I thought, well, I'm really proud of how far I've come with that. And I still know that there's a lot more for me to learn, but a lot more that I can pass on with that. And looking back on the videos, one of my most popular videos has been how to carve the wood spirit. So thank you so much for all your views and your wonderful comments on that as well. Um, and your shares and your subscribing from that. Um, there will be a lot more. So looking forward, I've obviously renamed. I was Dave's Outdoorsy Stuff. Now I am Spoons and Spirits. So that is what I'm going to concentrate on, the carving aspect. That doesn't mean that there's not going to be the odd video, pictures on Instagram and things that pop up that's to do with other, to do with the nature side of things and the learning side of things. But this is what I'm really passionate about. So this is what I'm going to concentrate my spare time doing this for you guys, because I work a full week as well. Um, I teach throughout the week. So for me, this is this is my hobby, my my extra passion on top of who I am during the day. So uh, making myself sound a bit like Superman there. But <laughs> if Superman had a knife and a gouge, he'd probably uh, have some fun too. But anyway, you know, that's what I'm really thinking about moving towards now. So Spoons and Spirits is life and it is working and it is going forward. So you will see a lot more videos on how to carve spoons. Uh, there'll be some ASMR style videos of some silent carving uh, that you guys can come with me on. I'm aiming on going on trips into woodlands and things um, into natural areas and just carving and bringing you guys with me uh, so you can see how my mind works as I go. 
without having to listen to this voice prattle on and on and on and on and on. But again, please do message me if you want to see more, uh, more tutorials, more ASMR style videos, more specifics to do with how to carve, for instance, one of them I am planning on doing soon is carving uh, how to carve eyes on a wood spirit because it's something I really struggled with to start with. So I guess there's other people who will also struggle. So if there's something in particular you, within those spoons and wood spirits um, that you want to see me do, yeah, go for it. Let me know and I'll see what I can do. So thanks for joining me on the journey. Thanks for being there. Uh, you've all had a massive impact on my confidence, my self-esteem to know that so many people are really enjoying my videos. So it really means a lot. And thank you so much for joining me and thank you so much for where we're going as well. And um, I hope you stay and I hope you enjoy what comes. Thanks. Cheers.